I am in the recovery and I just woke up. I was born with a rare genetic condition. My suffering does not define me. With every me. battle I face, I am made stronger through faith. I am free! Yeah. Hey guys, so I am currently headed outside to um, my grandma's car so I can go to my procedure. I woke up on time today, but because I fell asleep on time, but things are still kind of in a hurry. <laughs> I'm in the procedure room and in the gown and everything, but the procedure is not for like in 45 minutes. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I just guess I just lay here. I'll try to vlog after the procedure though. I am in the recovery. Just woke up. I too tired. I don't see very much, so I can't really see you guys. I try to wake up, and my stomach burns. Really bad. It kind of actually hurts. And it's hard to breathe. And I don't know. Oh, my blood pressure. I thought my is. I can't really see it that much. Uh, it's hard to breathe I'm just so tired I wonder what my blood pressure is I actually just found out that my phone does this thing to increase the exposure. I don't know how I found this out because I can't really see it. I'm barely with it. My stomach hurts so bad. It really burns. It's actually kind of hard to breathe. I don't know. I kind of wish my mom was actually here already. Hello. How you doing? I apologize for this video probably ending up to be all over the place. But it is so hard to record after procedures and like explain things like right now I'm still a little bit out of it but anyways my mom came to pick me up after my vitals were like stabilized and everything um and now I am about to hook up to an extension and um, a drain bag. I've never tried to use a drain bag to vent my stomach, which venting is just, like, pretty much getting all of the air bubbles out of my stomach. Um, and right now there's probably a lot of air in my stomach because they do fill, um, my esophagus and everything up with air to try and get the camera down there and the device implanted. Um... 
but I'll explain all of that in just a minute. Anyways, if a green bag doesn't work to vent my stomach, I've got um, syringes with me, which I don't know if you guys would ever want to see a video on that. Um, let me know in the description, not the description, oh, I cannot speak. Let me know in the comments down below if anyone would like to see, um, a video on, like, how I drain my stomach or how I vent or anything like that. Um, I may end up doing one and just putting up a warning. Warning, this next footage is going to show are going to be talking about my um, feeding tube and things that go along with that. So if you don't want to hear about that, then just this video probably isn't for you because it's a lot about my GI system. And if that makes you feel uncomfortable, whether it's because it makes you queasy or triggered, um, then this whole video is probably not for you, but yeah, just putting the warning out there. Alright, so anyways, I was gonna try and explain this to you guys earlier, but it was very loud and chaotic outside of my room, so I waited. And also I waited till I was out of pain so that I could think straight because I was in a lot of pain right after because they feel your stomach and intestines with air before doing endoscopies and um also um just this this thing and the device they put inside me really hurts um they said it wasn't supposed to hurt but it does it hurts and so this is the recorder and so right now my ph level is 4.3 which is really low meaning um my stomach acid is way too high um the lower the ph the higher the stomach acid and um it's supposed to be at seven but it's been all over the place it's been down to like 2.5 all the way up to 6.8 so it's it's been fluctuating and i'm not even like fully laying down and they told me not even to mark it whenever i'm like this like not unless i'm literally laying all the way down with my head on the pillows with the pillows laying flat on the bed um so but yeah, my pH level is really low. Um, I don't know what that means. Because, um, I'm not getting this surgery yet. I don't plan on it. Because, like, my anatomy is not normal. It's way too high of a risk. But, anyways, so there's also this, um, diary that I have, and I have to write it down anytime I press one of these buttons. So there's one for eating and drinking, and then there's this one for nausea, 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 <laughs> and um, then there is this one for regurgitation or throwing up, then there is this one for, um, heartburn and there is this one for if I'm laying all the way flat so um yeah I just end up pressing one of those buttons like um when I press that it has to be lit up for me to press one of these buttons but um like I'll press one right now because I'm having this symptom anyways so it'll beep like that and um then it just see my ph is like all over the place but it'll just send a um like it'll record it and 
yeah, the diary is just for, like, confirmation on certain things. I don't have to do the diary for, like, everything, every little thing. But as often as I can. But, like, if I'm pressing a button every, like, 30 minutes or every 15 minutes, then, like, there's not going to be enough room to write down everything um, on that little diary. But the doctor said that tomorrow is, like, the official start of the test because today I still have the drugs that they gave me to state me in my system. He said that doesn't clear out for, like, 24 hours, so not to worry about it. The thing is, I don't understand how I'm going to write in that diary while I'm driving um, since I Uber. But, I don't know. I guess I'll have to pull over. But if I have passengers in my car, like, I'll just press one of the buttons and try to remember the time. But that's going to be kind of hard. Alright, so it's a little bit later in the day. And I am editing the footage and realized I forgot to mention. So, if this thing doesn't stay within three feet of my body, it has an alarm on it that will go off. Um, I don't know what it sounds like because I haven't had it happen to me, um, since I've been laying in bed all day. They told me not to do anything because, um, sedation and anesthesia affects my blood pressure. And, um, so I've just been laying in bed all day. Well, not really laying, like, kind of slouching. Um, because I can't really lay down that much throughout the day being on this and because... It just makes my pots worse if I lay down all the time and then try to go back to doing normal stuff. Anyways, yeah, so I don't know what happens. I've walked across my room and the alarm hasn't gone off. Not intentionally to make the alarm go off, but just to grab some more formula for my feed bag. But yeah, I haven't experienced the alarm going off on this. But the only other problem I'm going to have with this is wearing it around my neck because of my scoliosis um i can't really wear things around my neck because i have an artery and um major nerves that are pinched off and um i could get a blood clot so yeah that's all oh and um we're just remembering to mark my symptoms because I've been having these symptoms for years and years and years and like haven't had to remember that I had them or to write them down. Um, them down. Um, so yeah. Um, other than that, that it like the thing's not gonna be a problem the pain has really improved like i said it's hours later in the day than the last video that you just saw um but um what else yeah i don't know i'll record more about like my experience with this thing um but I don't like the way it feels. It feels very uncomfortable in my throat. Um, like I have a pill stuck in my throat. But yeah, I'll record more about my experience with this. I have to return it on Friday and then I don't get the results till a week later. But I'll um, let you guys know what the results are. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. There are like 60% of um, my viewers that are not subscribed. So if you watch my videos regularly and you enjoy them, then hit that subscribe button. And also hit that thumbs up button. And um, if you want to receive updates or notifications when I upload any updates, then hit that bell notification sign. Thank you guys for watching this video. I love you all so much. Bye.